Yeah, I am pumped for this guy. Now, this is a superstar coming into this one with a major chip on his shoulder. Feels like he's not gotten the respect from the division that he's deserved lately. Yeah, but respect has to be earned in matches like this, not just handed out. If he can prove himself here, maybe he will get the respect he believes he deserves. Gonna have to dig down deep here tonight. Yeah, but he's going against the superstar who refuses to ever back down from a fight, refuses to back down from any challenger. He's not exactly the shot. Chance one more time and landing with incredible impact. Whoa, whoa what a moonsault! A helter skelter attitude here, getting to the bottom and going back to the top again and again. Boom! He is getting shredded apart right now. He somehow has to get himself back in order again. Went into the corner now. Wicked clothesline. Heads out of the ring. What's next? Hits him with the counter. Standing shooting star press. Incredible. Quick reflex is so important in a match like this. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Launching himself from the ropes. Cover. Gets the shoulder up after one. Not getting a two count at this point has to be frustrating. He's reeling, slowly getting up. Now oh, check this out. This is going to blow your mind. Holy cow, I'm dizzy. I think that'll do it. Two. It's over. All in a nice work. It's always great to visit the pay window, but a victory like this makes the winner's purse all that much sweeter. Revamp Wrestling, bringing you videos on all wrestling reviews, recaps, and music video simulations. Like, comment, and subscribe. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Sioux City, Iowa, Kaiba James. Matches of this caliber with this level of talent showing their skills, this is why I do what I do.
Ladies and gentlemen, get ready for some chaos. And from Glasgow, Scotland, Nikki The superhero's flown the coop. Nikki's now somehow even more unhinged than before. We've seen few superstars push the limits like she has lately. An undying spirit to prove herself has made her quite a grueling competitor. She knows she has what it takes to be at the top of her division, and she's come here to prove that tonight. We'll see if that devil-may-care attitude will pay off or backfire on her here tonight. And she needs to be ready for anything because across the ring is a deranged Nikki Cross. It can certainly be said that Nikki is as in your face as a rabid mongoose. While she may be small in stature, that unhinged offense of hers can topple opponents twice her size. German suplex! This is what you call high risk, high reward. And the turn! Oh, she misses the mark. Well placed kick. How's that for a counter? Oh, man. Suplex. Oh. Oh. Horse forearm draped across the middle rope. And down. Mm. Didn't see a lot of that patented ferocity from Nikki. And she is feeling the electricity from the crowd now. Elbow drop. She heads into the ring. Nikki Cross just terrifying this crowd into getting into this match. the floor what's she gonna do heads outside but this one has to end in the ring yeah. look at that strike incredible this is when we see who wants it more we're gonna find out is going to have to dig down deep here. A backbreaker now. <laughs> Nikki Cross is obviously a talented superstar, but one in particular could give her the advantage here tonight. It's Nikki's in-ring ferocity, Cole. Fewer as tenacious as Nikki Cross. She never knows when to back down or call it quits. That can make her a very difficult opponent. Oh, straight forearm. That might have just broken something. Look at this. Just stomp after stomp after stomp. Putting the boots to an opponent will take the fight out of them in a hurry. Boom. She's taking a beat. Can she do it here? She kicks out at one. Yeah, she probably knew that cover wouldn't do it. She has no idea where she is right now. This game's about winning at any and all costs. This competitor knows exactly what they want to do. Perched on the top rope. Here it is. Oh, I didn't go as planned there. Oh, the cover. And a kick out of two. She's still as determined as ever. Sent 
into the corner. Oh, uncorked a big punch. Forearm to the jump. Good God, he missed Murray. Oh, forearm connects. And Cross gets stonewalled. Pinpointing the leg in a corner. Clearly had a strategy going on there with the attention on the leg. Controlling the arm oh. into a hammerlock flatliner. Cover! There's two! And a victory here tonight! Here is your winner, Kaiba James! Nikki Cross suffers defeat. I'm not 100% sure Nikki is aware she came out on the losing end of this match. Whether Nikki knows it or not, she lost the match. Welcome to Revamped Wrestling. Subscribe to channel and smash the like button. Just a prelude to the unrelenting attack we are about to see from Karrion Cross.
This is the man who has seemingly put the entire WWE locker room on notice. The sadistic and uncaring Karrion Cross. Look into that man's eyes, Cole. Cross has a method to his madness, and once he has you in his sights, there is nothing you can do about it. Just a walking combination of unbridled intensity, precision, and total ruthlessness is carrying Cross. But let's get to Xavier Woods, who has been outspoken about the fact that it's long overdue that respect be put on his name. That's right, Corey. Xavier Woods says he's tired of being Mr. Nice Guy, and he's coming to court. Firm control. Oh, kick right in the face. Up to the top rope now. To the sky. High impact missile drop kick. He is looking to do some serious harm. Moves outside. What's the plan here? Cross is looking to make his opponent fall in prey. How does one avoid that presumably unpleasant fate? It won't be easy. But if you have power on your side, try to overwhelm him. If you have speed on your side, try to tire him out. He can adapt to you. So do your best to stay one step ahead. Yikes! That'll either wake you up or knock you out. Seated on their opponent, trapping their arms. Good grief, man. This is vicious. Practically never-ending blows coming at full force here. I like this aggression, just pure brutality. Come on, easy. That showed a complete lack of respect for your cop. And will this be it? No, he kicks out. Keeping a loss at bay for now. Hooking it up here, what's next? A panel suplex. And it's gonna be hard for Woods to send a message if he gets outmatched like that. Some might see that as a weapon, but a manager's just making sure the area is safe for his client. Oh, kick connects. Stomping down. The crowd is fully behind Xavier Woods right now. This is when Woods becomes dangerous, when he can feed off this arena's positivity. Swing neckbreaker. Oh, man. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. It's that time. The pin drop! Uh-oh, this is not going to end well. Cross landing powerbomb. That was one of those powerbombs that would shorten someone's career. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. Compromising position, but fighting back, however, punches in the midsection. Oh, he's looking a little weary now. They've definitely taken their lumps at this point. Their opponent is not messing around. He is getting rid of the turnbuckle pad. Don't say that too loud, Saxon. You might get caught. Out of the ring. What's his plan here? Xavier Woods falling victim to an onrush now. A very tough spot for Xavier to be in. One after another. You can't get caught in a hailstorm like that if you want to win. Oh, sharp knee. And Karrion Cross is really playing it up for the WWE Universe. Assaulting the knee with purpose. 
just look at Cross gain the momentum in this one. Yeah, Cross is giving no quarter. On the top. You gotta be kidding me! Now would be the time for everyone to clear out. Easier said than done. They are not concerned about anyone else's well-being. from Woods now. He's all business. And now thrown back into the ring. He's going for it all. From the top. Look at the bottom. Here he goes for the win. And he closes it out. He's able to beat a two count. He's still got more left in the tank. He catches Woods with a counter. Sure what they're thinking. Straight up. And the cut for the win. This is it. Shoulder shoots up before two. That's smart. Taking the one to catch your breath. his grip slipping, so he releases the hold. Still was able to produce some considerable damage, though. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. Oh, look at his aggression, just oh, pure brutality. Come on, easy. Carry oh. across. Doomsday Saito. What a sick. He may get the three count right here. This is it. And he got the win. That is a huge win here tonight. Xavier Woods. You can't take anything away from Xavier Woods, but tonight things didn't go his way. Revamp Wrestling, bringing you videos on all wrestling reviews, recaps, and music video simulations. Like, comment, and subscribe. Can you gentlemen feel that? Something truly dangerous is upon us. Yeah, I feel something, all right. Actually, I see something straight out of a nightmare. We know so little about this individual. You're right, Cole, and whatever you can imagine, it's probably worse. This man has such a haunting laugh. It seems like Uncle Howdy finds some sort of sick amusement in the pain and confusion of others. But I'd venture to say uh, Uncle Howdy is one of the more disturbing superstars we've ever witnessed. Well, we have had questions for months about Uncle Howdy. I wonder if we're finally about to get some answers. Well, we're about to find out if he's as frightening in the ring as he is on screen.
Here we are in astonishment watching the ghost of the man who sold the world, Uncle Howdy. Giving me chills to my core, Michael. A lot of mystery is wrapped around Uncle Howdy. Like, what's his story? Why the mask? It's all just so unsettling. Why Uncle Howdy is here tonight is one question we do know the answer to. And that is to inflict pain. But the devil's work is nip and shoulders are down. Fending off a two count there. Channeling his energy to stay in this matchup. One strong attack after another. Looking for more damage here. A release back suplex. There's a lot of hard ways to land, but that might be the hardest. Ooh, skull rattling. Uncle Howdy getting worked on right now. Uncle Howdy has to weather a storm here. DDT! What the heck is this manager doing looking under the ring? He can't be acting like this. Interesting strategy. And Steph delivers the inverted DDT. Being carried around with ease. Ooh, drop blood on their face. The one step ahead of Cross. Power slam. What's his best chance to do that? Pure, unbridled aggression. Cross competes more like a cage fighter than a WWE superstar, and he should use that to his advantage. Most guys are looking for a contest of skill or something. No way! Slingshot sent on! That is reckless abandon being shown. And paying off as well. And an elbow. Cross looking a little less inevitable after that hit. An unsettling amount of pain being inflicted by Uncle Howdy. Oh, look at this aggression, just oh, pure brutality. Oh, 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 easy. That was showing great awareness of positioning, placing yourself between the ref and your opponent. With the F10 face buster. How could you not be afraid of Karrion Cross after witnessing terrifying power like that? Hits him with a gut wrench suplex. What an what he deserves for all that gloating. The ref completed his count, and we have a winner. Not the win they wanted, but it's a win nonetheless. Here comes the 330 pounder, Bronson Reed. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Black Forest, South Australia. Weighing in at 330 pounds, Bronson Reed! Bronson Reed tips the scales at over 330 pounds, but is the agility of a man half his size? Though when that tsunami comes crashing down, you'll know you ain't facing a cruiserweight. Bronson Reed is indeed ready for war. I have a feeling we're just moments away from another jaw-dropping, pardon me, Stu, tsunami! This is one dangerous and individual. And his opponent from France.
Franklinville, New Jersey, weighing in at 249 pounds, Joe Gacy. A man already well known for his mind games. You cannot discount the power and speed of Gacy either. Tonight, Gacy looking to increase his influence. Yeah, but he has sinister intentions in mind, like indoctrinating all of WWE. Revamp Wrestling, bringing you videos on all wrestling reviews, recaps, and music video simulations. Like, comment, and subscribe. Joe Gacy is definitely a man who likes to hear the sound of his own voice, but tonight he's going to have to let his actions in the ring do the talking. It wasn't all that long ago that Gacy was insincerely preaching inclusivity to his fellow superstars. Now he's all, will this be enough? Kick out just in time. That was a long two count there. A little rope assistance, punishing their opponent. Focusing on a body part, picking it apart. The arms is going to place the focus as any. Hip drop. Dropping the elbow. And now Reed is thriving off the audience. Uh-oh. Dropping the elbow right on the knee. They have just knocked all high concept thought out of Gacy's head there. Bro no! Suicide dive! Unbelievable athleticism. Just going for it all and landing a direct hit. Just tops their opponent. Gacy has lost any sense of command in this one. Reads a wrecking ball in motion. Week in and week out, we see that Joe Gacy is a man on a mission. And there's no better place to prove said point in WWE than right there in that ring. Gacy needs to treat this and every match like it's a part of his mission. To wrestle with the type of righteous authority that we know is inside of him. That's quite a way of saying he needs to shut up and wrestle, Corey. See this end. Here comes the Pride Fighter. The following contest is scheduled for one star. Making her way to the ring from Shabbat, New Jersey, Sonya Deville. Throughout her career, Sonya has shown her adaptability as a tag team competitor, a single star, and even a backstage official. You absolutely cannot trust Sonya, but you can depend on the fact that she will do anything to reach the top of WWE. Sonya Deville ready to assert some authority and dominance in the ring. She better get it done there because she can't abuse her powers backstage anymore.
Guys, Liv Morgan just living out her dream here in WWE. Yeah, Liv's career has just really taken off. Became this money in the bank and then successfully cashed in the contract to become SmackDown Women's Champion. You know, Liv Morgan might just have more passion than any superstar we've ever seen. You can tell that she is fully invested in the outcome of every match and comes to the ring ready to fight her whole heart out. You might not be wrong. The way that Morgan refuses to back down, even when the odds are stacked against her, is truly impressive. She won't allow herself to let the fans down. And that passionate approach to competition hasn't let her down either. Although, she's in for a challenge tonight against Sonya Deville, a competitor whose confident scowl says it all. Deville's a pure fighter and she knows it. Her belief in her own in-ring abilities could carry her to the win tonight. Well, you say confidence, Corey, where I might go as far as to say arrogance. But either way, there's no denying that when it comes to in-ring competition, Sonya Deville has got the goods. And Sonya Deville is firmly in command. This is where Morgan will be tested. And up the turnbuckles we go. From way up. Whoa, look out. They got all of that. Just taking flight and soaring through the sky. Liv Morgan is one of the most creative superstars we've seen in the ring. That has to make her a bit unpredictable for opponents, doesn't it? While Morgan might be unpredictable, well, she's not invincible. Morgan can only utilize that creativity if she's the one setting the pace. If you can set your own pace and match her incalculable offense, you'll have a fighting chance. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Kick right to the leg. That'll sting. Liv is losing any kind of advantage here. Liv Morgan struggling here, unable to set the pace or utilize her creative offense. Thought this be over quick has another thing coming. Swift clothesline out of nowhere. Oh, oh, oh. That kick's got the distance. From behind. Back suplex. She was clear. between strain and pain when your shoulder is worked like that. Tease of the potential agony that's yet to come. Turns that back on Sonya. Got her where she wants her. Morgan thwarted momentarily, but comes right back for the leg. Ooh, sweeping the legs. Long blower. We got a cover. Less than a second to stay alive there. Lives fully intent on ending things here. The jumping complete shot is burst. This is troublesome for the ball. And that'll be it. Finally a victory. What a hard fought win. Here is your winner. Liz Morgan. A frustrating.
frustrating defeat for Sonya Deville here. Sonya really went for it tonight, unleashing everything she had, but her opponent just had more. Revamp Wrestling, bringing you videos on all wrestling, reviews, recaps, and music video simulations. Like, comment, and subscribe. Here comes Master Gable. The following contest is scheduled for one thumb. Making his way to the ring, representing the Alpha Academy from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing at 202 pounds, Chad Gable. A true master inside the ring and would do anything to reach Byron. the pinnacle. Byron, yes. Shoosh! Stop. Why stop doing that, Corey? Chad Gable always competes at the highest level, both mentally and physically. Oh, Saxton, stop sucking up. Gable will never. A thank you. Thank you. the monster of all monsters. And his opponent from Sheryl's Ford, North Carolina, weighing in at 385 pounds. Braun Strowman! Think of all the titles that Braun Strowman has won throughout his career. Tag titles, intercontinental title, even the Universal Championship. More interested in causing destruction and running over the competition. Impressive physical ability. One of the biggest and baddest to ever step foot in WWE. Chad Gable, an Olympian who proclaims that everyone should strive to be Alpha. The learning tree of Master Gable has sprouted many impressive branches, all of which can say a thank you to Chad on a daily basis. The so-called master is in action, hoping to lead by example and teach his pupils more lessons. Yeah, but they're standing straight across from someone like Braun Strowman, a monster among monsters and a powerhouse amongst powerhouses. Brute strength, pure power. The things Strowman can do in and out of that ring never fail to surprise both the WWE Universe and his opponents on a regular basis. Oh, what force to the back of the neck. Ooh. Ooh. That puts a stop to Gable. Uh-oh, ankle pick. Beautiful takedown. Oh, knee crusher. That's gonna hurt. And now Gable's looking to fly. Incoming. Hooked up. DDT. Look, no doubt, Strowman is an intimidating superstar. But as history has shown, he's not exactly the sharpest tool in the shed. You definitely don't want to go head-to-head -head with him in the power and strength department, so outsmarting him is absolutely your best bet. I'm going to tell him you said all that. Chad getting challenged there. Yeah, that destructive nature of Strowman was out in full force there. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Oh no, what, what is this? Reverse choke slam! Two. 
That's still a quick kick out at this point. Powerless position to be in right now. Closer to getting the pinfall there, but this is still anybody's fight. Vicious right forearm. Knee left. Uh oh, return fire from Gable. Boom! Into a DDT. to three. Great reversal. Oh, strong and what power. Boom. That can do Gable in. Is it up? The cover. Ron Strowman gets the win. Here is your Oh, I win tonight. Just another superstar falling to the monster of all monsters. Saxton has led Dragon off to the NXT UK Championship. Let's see if it brings him more success tonight. This man is facing an opponent tonight who is simply unstoppable. Can he break Braun Breaker tonight? This kid's the real deal. I agree, Cole. He's already more than living up to his family pedigree. Of a top talent. 
And Braun Breaker just seems destined for very big things. And we kick things off with Braun Breaker, son and nephew of a pair of Hall of Famers, but fast becoming a powerhouse in his own right. If you could bottle potential up and put it in a human being, you'd get someone like Braun Breaker. He's got his dad's natural ability, his uncle's genetic freakishness. It's easy to see why Breaker's asserting himself so quickly. The kid's undeniable. Perhaps some of that potential will be realized tonight. But one look into the eyes of Ilya Dragunov, and you see that he's more than ready for a challenge. There is a constant fire burning within Dragunov, a ferocity that he can barely contain. That comes out in full force when he's inside the ring. He's truly like a man possessed. Has them up, nice waist lock, takedown, holding on, how about another? Ouch. Establishing complete control. I did not see this match going on much longer with too many more moves like that from them. You have got to be in elite physical condition to pull off something like that. Oh, kick right to the back. Breaker making clear he has his number. Well, maybe it's just me, but you can only be disrespected so many times like that before you start to develop a complex. You get slammed a lot, Corey. It's none of your business, Cole. Hooked and driven down hard with a Uranagi. Uh-oh. This isn't going to be pretty. All the way out of Ilya Dragunov has such an incredible fighting spirit. Is that enough to bring him the victory? Absolutely, Cole. Dragunov leaves everything he has in the ring. And if he brings that intensity and ferociousness to bear, there aren't many superstars he can't find a way to defeat. He's absorbed some damage already. And that right there is the intensity of Ilya Dragunov at work. Introducing a boot to the face. Shoved into the ropes and attacking the lower back. What's coming next? A back suplex. Oh man. Oh man, he is more than fired up right now. He's heading to the floor, but he can't take his time. Vicious knee. He's starting to struggle here. And the intensity in every move Dragunov delivers doesn't seem to be wavering one bit. Dragunov is just losing charisma right now. Crashing down with the senton. Ah, oh, it's tough to bounce back from that. The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. Big risk here. He may be counted out. He might be oblivious to the count, guys. Dragging off, messing with him, clearly trying to force an error. He beat... Ron Breaker setting it up for the military power slam. Will that stop Dragunov? There's two, and they're still in this. Ilya Dragunov with a tremendous kick out, and you have to think that the mad Russian has found a new reserve of adrenaline that's only going to make him stronger from here on out. And Breaker has to be wondering just what it's going to take to end this. How far does he have to go? Scoop slam, making it look easy. Boom, drop. And a kick. Nobody home. Stomping. Ouch. Oh, Dragunov getting put to the test with that hit. At this 
this stage of the match, they are clearly starting to feel the effects of this back and forth. To the back of the neck. And Braun has earned the upper hand here. Ilya has to trust his instincts at this point. section.
McIntyre gets away from that. Ducking out of trouble. Dominating shoulder tackle.
by Nick.